thing that he was calling exceptionalism. And what it was all about was so many of us are exceptional people, but we refuse to just go ahead and be exceptional. We, we settle for the ordinary. We follow the pack. We try to fit in. Man, oh man, oh man. You know, I've heard my wife say this to, to my children all the time when she was scolding them or talking to them. She'd be talking to them about leadership. You know, why are you following everybody when God clearly made you to lead? You know, she talks to them about that all the time. Last night, uh, Bishop Jakes was nailing it on the head. So many of us are born, and so many of you are born to be exceptional people, but we always trying to follow the pack, always trying to be a follower, always trying to fit in, when clearly you were born to be exceptional. And one of the things he was talking about, I'm paraphrasing all this now because i got to get it into the way that I could tell it to you because He's such a gifted speaker, man. I, that's that he has. He's at another level. So I'm trying to paraphrase this to get you to where, where you can understand this. Why would you try to fit in? Why would you try to be uh, like everybody else? Be ordinary. Why would you follow the pack when God has created you to be exceptional? You know, the 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 key word in exceptional is accept. You ever, you ever did this right here? You, you know, everybody did that except me. Everybody felt that way except me. Everybody said that except me. Everybody want, wanted that except me. Everybody went over there except me. Everybody jumped in except me. Except me. See, why have you said that in your life if you were not to be exceptional? See, you got to say everybody except me. At one point in your time, I don't know who ain't done it. You know, everybody wanted, everybody voted no except me. See, so you, you, you're not you're not created to follow the pack. You ain't created to fit in. You ain't created to, uh, you know, to be ordinary. You were created to be exceptional, as exceptional as your fingerprint on your finger is. You were created to be exceptional. Why not make this the year that you go ahead on and be exceptional? Why won't this be the year that you decide in your mind, but just has to be a decision that we make now. We're not following the pack no more. We're not trying to fit in no more. We ain't settling for ordinary no more. We're going to be exceptional. But, you know, you got, you got to go ahead and follow that. You got to get on the exceptional path because that's what you were created for. Why be ordinary? You know, but all of this, everything you do, all these New Year's resolutions that people come up with, all of this, this comes, it has to start with a thought. You got to first think something. Thoughts become things. A man is as he thinketh. That's all you will ever be. So what are your thoughts today? Why not have exceptional thoughts instead of ordinary thoughts? Why not have exceptional thoughts instead of fitting in thoughts. So why you want to be like everybody else? Why you want to be ordinary when you could possibly be extraordinary with a change of your mind, a change of your venue? And you don't have to be any other kind of way just because my mama was this way or my daddy was this way or this the school I went to, this what race I belong to, this my sexual preference, this my this, this my that. Well, well how, many, how, many, how many excuses you need? I mean, I'm an excuse. What, 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 what you, what's it going to be this year that we let another 365 days slip by without improving our condition, our place, our spot, our life, the quality of life we have? We cannot afford to keep letting all these years go by without changing. Man, Bishop was on point with me last night. You're an exceptional person. How many times have you set up and said, everybody did that except me? You know, I was only, everybody jumped in except me. I told them, I knew it. Everybody voted for that except me. And now look at them. 
Man, it seemed like everybody went that way except me. Okay? Do you get it? Do, do, do you understand what's being said to you? That old except me is because couldn't it be because you're an exceptional person? And it's time for you to take control of that? It's time for you to start thinking different? It's time for you to start acting on what you think? It's time for you to start doing something about it? It's time for you to stop taking each and every day that God gives us for granted and letting them go by the wayside like you got plenty more. Well, you may have plenty more, but guess what? What you wasting the ones you got for? I got you young and you and you feel like you're going to live forever. Eh, okay, cool. But let me ask you something. See, here, 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 here go the part about suppose you do live. See, see, everybody worried about dying, but I got news for you. Suppose you keep on living. You want to keep living in the condition you in now? You want to keep living with the money you got now? You want to keep living with the relationship you got now? You want to keep living by yourself like you are now? You want to keep wanting the right relationship, the right man, the right woman, but you keep getting the wrong one? You want to keep doing that for the rest of your life? Problem ain't dying. The problem is if you keep on living. Who wants to keep on living just the way they are right now? And if you can say, I'm cool with I am just the way I am right now, then cool. This conversation ain't for you. I ain't got no problem with that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Greatness ain't for everybody. Being exceptional ain't for everybody. Becoming extraordinary ain't for everybody. Heck, becoming successful ain't for everybody. I got it. And you can come up with a way to justify your non-existence and your ordinary life all you want. And that's fine and dandy. I ain't got no problem with it because some people just going to be regular. Some people just going to follow the pack, follow the crowd. Some people just wants to fit in. But if you're not that person, if you want to be extraordinary, if you want to be exceptional, if you want to be, if you want to dare to be great at something, then you got to change your mindset. You got to get with your creator and find out what he created you for. You got to quit thinking of things just in your own thought process. You know, lean not to your own understanding. I don't know where that is, but it's in there somewhere. See, and once you lean, if, if, if you lean to your own understanding, you know what it's going to do? It's going to limit you, man. It's going to limit you. Why not see what God got for you? I would rather know what God got for me than to think of all the things I could because I can't outthink him. I done tried it before. All right? It's just the beginning. We're going to have a good one, man. Let's go. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show on KJLH. Life moves fast, and you're a busy person, which means you don't have time for the problems of...